Hello, welcome to the Reliance class of Pattern. This is Mr. D, and we're going to discuss something about the chromosomes in pinuses of the weed. We're going to calculate the chromosome number in the different cells. Sometimes it comes in your exams and all that you go to just count down the total number of the chromosomes present in different cells of these different kinds of the plants. Just understand that these two plants, definitely these are absolutely different divisions. Pinus belongs to the gymnosperms, division gymnosperms. The other one, weed plant that we have over here is an angiosperm, obviously it's a monocot. All right, now this particular plant, it's sometimes given in the books and all, they ask the question that their root cells, they have got total 60, the number of chromosomes. This is about root chromosome number, all right? And the wheat plant, imagine the wheat plant that they have given is the number of chromosomes in its root, it's given as um, 42. Chromosome number in the root, root of this wheat plant. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to find out the number of chromosomes in their endosperm. Try to understand first of all this term, the endosperm. Obviously, it's a stored food material of the plant and is from both of these plants. All right. Endosperm formation in case of the pinus is obviously a pre-fertilization event. Now, what exactly is that? Before the pre-fertilization event itself, we have the endosperm formation in this specific plant, means in the gymnosperms. Endosperm formation in case of the weed, this is a post-fertilization event. If it's a pre-fertilization event, over there, it is just N. Endosperm chromosomes are represented by N. By that, I mean the haploid state. And obviously, what they are given over here is the number of the chromosomes in the root. By the root, I mean some typical diploid cell. So, can I also write it as 2N being 60? All right, that's what we're given. So, definitely, can you very easily find out over there the number of chromosomes present inside. As you can see over here, the 2N, the root chromosomes, definitely the root cells are the typical diploid cells. So these diploid cells in the pinus, they are having the total number of chromosomes as 60. Because the 2N is given to you, that's the root chromosome, total 60. Now what you're going to do is you're going to find out the number of chromosomes in any of uh, the endosperm cell. Definitely it must be the haploid, because as I said, it's a pre-fertilization event. In case of pre-fertilization event, the endosperm formation, the chromosomes will be represented only in the haploid state. So definitely this 2N comes down 60 by 2 and you get N value as 30. Number of the chromosomes present in endosperm cell of a pinus, which is a kind of the gymnosperm. Then we go ahead with the wheat plant over there what we see, you will find out endosperm cell, the total chromosomes over there. So root cell again being a diploid, 2N is equal to 42 over here and you will be getting will be 21. Post fertilization event in case of any angiosperm makes the endosperm which is a triploid condition. So this is what you need to find out because you got to find out the number of chromosomes in endosperm cell. So N as you say it's 21 definitely 3N will become 63. This is how you find out the number of chromosomes in both. Try to understand the basic difference between both these two types of the plants, the pinus, the gymnosperm and the wheat and angiosperm. They are absolutely different divisions and they differ in many of their terms, specifically in their sexual cycle, in their reproductive cycle. Over here, endosperm formation was pre-fertilizing event. Therefore, our endosperm cell had haploid number of chromosomes, the haploid state of the chromosomes. What we have over here is triploid state of the chromosomes. In case of the wheat plant, because that's just a kind of angiosperm, as a post fertilization event. So after fertilization, what you get is 3N condition. Because during fertilization event over here in angiosperms, that is secondary polar nuclei, which is fusing with one of the male gamete. All right, so 2N secondary polar nuclei, that has got 2N, already the 2N condition, the diploid, plus one male gamete also comes over there. So 2N plus N becomes 3N. So what we get in case of the endosperm cell of a wheat plant is a 3N condition there, and 3N becomes 63. I think you can understand pretty much clearly over there. Thank you.